Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to compute the line integral f dot dr from the point minus 1 0 to 1 0 in the xy plane. Travel along the x-axis if f is xi plus x squared j. First of all, let's try to understand what is the path. Now this path here, curve, is actually a straight line path from minus 1 0 to 1 0 in the xy plane. Travel along the x-axis. So the path will look something like this. On the xy plane, there are two points, x equal to minus 1 0, the point minus 1 0, and the point 0 1. And it travels along the x-axis from minus 1 0 to 1 0, and so this is the path. Alright? So, to understand this path, how do I write the equation of this path in this case? So along this path, we know that there is no z, everything is on the xy plane, there is no z coordinate, there is no k vector now. So along the path, we can say, let's say, x equal to t, parametrically, y coordinate is always 0. There is no z involved, so we will just leave the z out. So the parametric curve is x equal to t, y equal to 0. At the point minus 1, 0, you can find that t is equal to minus 1. Because x equal to minus 1, y equal to 0. At the point 1, 0, t is equal to 1. So you can check easily that the value of t in different cases. When t equal to minus 1, you get minus 1, 0. When t equal to 1, you get 1, 0. Now let's work on the dot product. Our integral of the dot product f dot dr. So f is x squared, xi plus x squared j. Now dr here, in this case, there is no z coordinate. Everything is on the xy planes. So dr here, in this case, is equal to just dxi plus dyj. There is no k now, there is no dz now. So f dot dr in this case is equal to all right, y. So the integration f x squared dx plus x, x dx by x squared dy x dx plus x squared dy. We know along the curve C is x equal to t, y equal to 0. And what we're going to do is change every x and y into t now, and dx dt as well. So we know dx dt is equal to 1. So dx will be equal to dt, and x equal to t y equal to 0 anyway, so dy dt will be 0, and so dy will be 0 now. So in the end, this integral will become x is equal to t. dx equal to dt, so this will become x is equal to t, dx equal to dt, then x squared is t squared, dy is 0, so you don't need to worry because dy is 0 now. So you actually have integration of t dt. And what is the limit of t now? We know that from earlier part, we know that the point travel from minus 1, 0 to 1, 0. At the point minus 1, 0, t is equal to minus 1. At the point 1, 0, t is equal to 1. So the limit of t is from minus 1 to 1, so you can put in here x from dx when it comes to t of t from minus 1 to 1. So t from minus 1 to 1. So how do you integrate t now? So integration of t in this case, you can recall a formula. Integrate t power n is t power n plus 1 over n plus 1. So integration of t will be t power 2 over 2 at t equal to minus 1 to 1. When t equal to 1, you get 1 square over 2. When t equal to minus 1, you get minus 1 square over 2, and then you subtract. And you find that both of them are half minus half. 
which is zero. Therefore, the integral we require is equal to zero now. That is answer for this answer in this case is zero.